If you want to see how to create these gingerbread fairy garden DIYs, then keep watching. On this channel, I love to share easy DIYs and budget home decor. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is Our Gray House. All right, I'm kicking it off with this little teapot that I got from um, Hobby Lobby. <laughs> I got it a while back and I'm sure I got it on clearance, but I took off the tag and I wrapped the handle with some washi tape. And now I'm going in with Christmas red and I'm just painting where the washi tape is not because, um, you see it was from the spring shop, but I didn't, I got it like last year or something because it's been in my stash a while. Anyways, so I'm painting it all the way around and I do have to give it a couple coats to make sure that it has good coverage. Once that's done, I remove all of the washi tape to reveal the um, design that I made <laughs> or that it made. It's just basically, uh, you know, I was trying to create like stripes on there you know, peppermint stripes. So that's, that's all it's doing. I took some, what do you call it? Spackle from Dollar Tree and I did add some water and I'm just kind of gooping it on. I didn't really have an idea in mind of how to apply it. <laughs> so I just kind of mixed it up with some water to freshen it up because it was a little bit dry and crumbly and just kind of spackling it on. And then I took these rocks from Dollar Tree and I'm placing them on didn't really have a rhyme or reason for this either. And I wasn't even hundred percent sure that they were going to stick. I tried Googling it and you know, like, Hey, would rock stick if I use Michael? And so far they have. So then I took a couple of brown toned paints and I'm just trying to fill in where the white was to make it look like it's part, I don't know, like, I don't, not really sure exactly what I was going for here, but I didn't want it to be white in between. So I was just trying to paint it all like some sort of rock ish color. Now for the rest of the teapot, I am, or flower pot, is it watering? Maybe it's a watering can. Anyways, for the rest of it, I am painting it in folk art matte paint in the color cinnamon. And you know, it's a good color for gingerbread. But I'm just giving it a good coat all over and there's a couple spots that I did have to go back and paint again but in general it was a pretty good coverage the first time. This little wood piece is something that I got from Hobby Lobby and I put it in some boiling water and let it boil for several minutes until it was kind of soft and I kind of rubber banded it around a candle so that it would bend and then I painted it white and now I'm taking a red paint pen and I am making little peppermint stripes and you're saying to yourself, why did you, <laughs> why did you put it in the boiling water? Because I wanted it to bend and not be just like flat. So when I glued it to this little flowering water can thing, it would like fit better and not just be sticking out and be prone to be knocked off. And then I took the brown paint pen and then I took some brown crab paint and I made the door and then I took some like puff paint from Hobby Lobby and I'm just adding on some designs and until I think it looks good and then trying to mimic the designs on each side, filling it in as I go. You can use a lot of things for inspiration, but I just Googled gingerbread houses to kind of get an idea of some designs that were on the gingerbread houses. And this is how it turned out. I think it turned out super cute. Now here's the back and I did the back like this because in case I keep it with my other fairy garden stuff, it'll be together. And yeah, it turned out super cute. This video is part of the Gingerbread Fever playlist. It's hosted by Crafting in a Mimi's World and GGB DIY. I'm going to have a link to the playlist as well as to the host channels down below. I hope you check out the playlist. There's going to be a ton of great inspiration, especially if you are a gingerbread fan. DIY number two is going to be a little <laughs> peppermint table. So I took some wood slices that I'd gotten from Hobby Lobby. I got them on sale and you can usually find them on sale in the his and her section. They don't usually go on sale in the wood pile section. Anyways, I'm painting it with this little paint kit that I got from Target when I bought gingerbread house from them. It's not really opaque enough. So I had to go back with regular craft paint to, you know, paint over it. And then those are the little stools that they're going to sit on they, whoever would sit in a fairy garden on a peppermint table, that's who would be sitting on those. And then I took these little pat, this pattern that I got just a Googled peppermint pattern. And I put, um, a pencil on the back so that I could use it to trace and you could use tracing paper. You could freehand this. There's lots of different ways you could do it, but I just did it like that just to kind of give me a little bit of a guide. And then I went in with some Christmas red paint and I painted in all of the areas that I had marked off just so it looks like a peppermint. In hindsight, I would freehand it next time for sure, 
but you know, hey, I was trying different ways. <laughs> and then I hot glued another um, wood slice to the bottom of the table so it was higher. And that's how it kind of turned out. Oh, I'm cleaning it up a little bit with the paint pens. And I go back in and do some more cleaning up. Anyway, that's how it turns out. And I did a little peppermint guy right there. Or peppermint guy, gingerbread guy. But yeah, it turned out super cute. Now, DIY number three, our last DIY for today, is going to be a lighthouse. And no, it's not. It's a windmill. <laughs> so anyway, I had this snowflake that I got from Dollar Tree last year. And I'm painting it with that same white. And I had to go back with regular folk art craft paint to kind of, um, it was just wasn't dark enough. So I had to go back with the other paint to darken it up. And this is going to be the windmill for my windmill little house thing. My little windmill gingerbread house. This bird feeder was something I got from Dollar Tree and it tried to use it for some other um, projects. Didn't turn out. Anyway, I'm showing you where I'm going to cut off the little bottom and remove that. And then I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to attach the windmill, snowflake windmill, to the house. And I'm going to be using some beads, kind of like washers. And I'll, I have to find a bead that goes in the back and a bead that goes in the front. And they have to be snug enough that, you know, it'll hold it, but also not so, you know, snug that I can't push it down so I can get the windmill on. Anyway, some trial and error. Your mileage may vary on how you do this, but I just used beads. And let me show you this next part. I figured it out. So I put a little bit of hot glue on the bead on the inside. It's really hard to show you because it's on the inside of this house. And then I'm going to let that dry, but I didn't hold it straight. That's one thing. You really kind of need to hold it straight. Then I put a bead. I ended up putting two beads there so that it's enough distance from the house to where the windmill is and so that it could turn and not hit the house. And so I just slit another bead on and then I'm going to, I'm just making sure everything fits at this point because I don't actually attach it right there. I do attach the initial part as you see me see, oh, you can kind of see. <laughs> so I take it off the bottom and you can see that I'm putting the hot glue there to kind of hold that all in place. I'm going to paint the house um, and there's another portion of the house that you'll see in a second. I'm painting it with that same folk art matte paint in the color cinnamon and I'm just giving it a good coat all over. I had this other piece. It's like a little lantern type thing. I got it from Dollar Tree and I thought the little scrolly stuff cut out on the front kind of reminded me of like gingerbread scrolly swirly thing. So I thought this would make a cute little, um, uh, I was going to say lighthouse again, but it's not. It's a windmill. Anyway, so I'm making this little gingerbread guy, just kind of putting on a head and a bow tie because I'm going to glue it in on the, I thought I was going to show you that next. No, I'm going to show you me outlining all of the little squirrely, swirly designs on the front of this little lighthouse thing. And I'm just using that same fabric. I think it's fabric paint actually, but it's like puffy paint or whatever, and just kind of outlining it. And I did make another little guy. Oh, this is where I made the other gingerbread guy, but he went with DIY number two. <laughs> but anyway, so I've attached the, or I'm attaching the snowflake windmill to the front of the birdhouse and then I'm going to oh first I'm going to make all the lines for the rooftop and I try to match them up and I actually do a decent job on that and I'm against just the puffy fabric paint and I'm like making a little heavier in some spots to be snow and then I was going to use E6000 but I end up using just some hot glue and going all around and then attaching the house down and I accidentally touched the paint so there you go but you can well here's how it turned out <laughs> but I'm gonna show you something in just a second oh I thought I showed it maybe here it comes here it comes I think see I put the little guy the windmill moves isn't that fantastic but I put the little guy in one of the holes on the birdhouse little thing see him there he is <laughs> anyway I thought it was fun I need to kind of go back and touch up that paint it doesn't look it looked fine in person but um on camera I need to touch a paint there this also does light up, so I turned on the light, and you know, that's how it looks. It looks super cute, and I love how it turned out, and I hope you do too. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Here's how they look up on, I have a bookcase in my office that my dad made me back in the 80s. Anyways, <laughs> so I have my other fairy garden that I made, and I didn't get out my gingerbread house from last year, but that turned out good too.
May I'll link both those videos down below just in case you want to watch them. But this is how the items turned out for this video and they just look super cute. They, I think they really turned out great and they weren't hard to make at all. And they're mostly Dollar Tree items except for the flower pot thing. But you know, you could probably find something similar at Dollar Tree to make that out of. And I just think the little peppermint table with the chairs looks pretty cute too. Thank y'all so much for watching my video today. I really do appreciate it so much. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel. And don't forget if you want to follow me on social media, like here on YouTube or over on Instagram or over on TikTok where I do videos with my husband and stuff, um, my handle is Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye.